Hello guys, this is Deathly and welcome to another Minecraft Factions tutorial. It's been a long time since the last one, but this has been requested. Today I give you the Tileable Pig Farm. Now, it's very similar to the Kill Farm we've done previously, which you can see over there and all my other Minecraft Factions experiments. But yeah, this one is fairly simple to design and today we're going to go over how you can go about building this. Now as you can see it spawns fairly quick as long as the, your character is within a 16 block radius of the farm of course and it works pretty well so let's get right into this tutorial. Okay guys so to get started you're going to need a 9 by 8 block area and you're going to need plenty of height for this farm. Even though yes it's one block shorter than that one over there you may still want extra height so you can get in and work easily. Now what we've got to start doing is start by placing the initial blocks for the killing area. So we want to go three blocks like so, and three blocks like so, leaving gaps on the outside like this. Now in these gaps here, you got you want to place in the chests like so. I need to go over there and collect a trap chest because I got rid of it, and place them in between like so. Now you want to place the hoppers here like so, and you want to continue on with the killing chamber so just simply wrap the glass around the killing area like this and up one more level where we will start placing signs to hold the lava blade so here we have the signs which will hold the lava blade in place and we continue up one more level now we can place in the lava pretty simple now what we need to do is we need to continue on building this falling area for three, a height of three after this, like so. Now depending on yourself you may need to change the height of this because sometimes the pigs may or may not be able to fall through and not get damaged. It can happen but most of the time it doesn't. Now we're going to start work on the tripwire segment. So we're going to need a tripwire, of course, and some string. And we'll start by placing it in. So tripwires there and there. And sure, we'll need three pieces of string for this middle section. Good. Now what we will actually want to do is we actually want to take out this little area of glass to, and we want to replace it with grass. And now we want to continue this killing chamber up two more blocks. You can leave it open at the top if you want, but you can close it over and the whole mechanism will still work. Now just for a moment I will place some glass here to stop the moths from spawning because we've now got to place in the actual mob spawners. Now what we need is we need some sticky pistons which need to go on top of these blocks facing that way so it may be easier to collect blocks like that and place them just off like so and no that is completely wrong actually they need to be in that position where those blocks are yes if you get the, the piston positions wrong it can mess up your design entirely so you don't want little mistakes like that it's pretty bad there we go you may also want to place glass in these segments here because there is a chance that the pigs can fall through and we don't want that do we? No. Okay and to finish off on this killing segment we'll place glass there as well. Now what we want to do is we want to place the glass in here and then over there and you can now remove it on the spawning platform as, and as you can see they're starting to spawn and push each other into the killing chamber. Now we're going to start on the actual piston mechanism which will push the pigs to their death. So what you do is you place it like so and we need at least two blocks on this side for the the redstone stuff. Okay, so we need some redstone dust. We already have some repeaters, which is required. And we'll start by simply running the redstone lines like so. 
Excellent. Now you want to place in the repeaters, set it to the one tick delay, and increment the ticks up like so. So they sh in theory they should all extend at the same time, like that. Excellent, this farm design works perfectly. And that is it for this pig farm design. If you want any more designs like this, please let me know in the comments. Doesn't matter if they're for hostile mobs or not, I am happy to do them. Because this is actually pretty fun to do. This is what I like about this game. But guys, I'm afraid that's it for this tutorial. So as always, if you like this video, please make sure to hit that like button. And if you really enjoyed it and want to see more, make sure to subscribe. Thank you for watching. And as always, I'll see you guys next time.